welcome to Amateur Redneck Workshop. I'm Harold and uh, this video is about uh, the good of the land fest. Excuse me, I got a tickle in my throat here. Alright, got that over with and out of the way. But anyway, this, uh, this Saturday we went to the good of the land fest in Lindale, Texas. This was their first annual fest. So I guess that means there's going to be one every year. And uh, there was a lot of YouTube creators there, a lot of, a lot of the famous guys. And, and I got a, several of them in uh, the video. Some of them were uh, from other types of channels than what I watched. Like they were, I think, me, uh, maybe uh, blacksmith channels and environmental channels or something. I'm not sure exactly what. But uh, there was something there for both sides of the coin, I guess, for a lot of people. And the place was really covered up with people. I had a park way back in the woods. And it was a long walk back. Of course, it wasn't as long for me as it was for this old guy. So when I was coming in, he had a walker. He was pushing it down through the little dirt road there. I drove back in the back and parked and came back. And he was almost up to the ticket counter by then. So I guess he was determined. Anyway, I got in the raffle. And... I won this thing, it's a, a OBD2 scan tool that connects your cell phone with uh, with Bluetooth and it's pretty neat. Uh, they, they want you to buy the application for $10, which I did and then I looked on Amazon and read the reviews and some guy in there tells where you can get a free application to run the thing, but I had <laughs> I'd learned it too late. But I think it ought to be a pretty neat thing. And then uh, this was in my, my raffle, the one, uh, one of the black books. And, and I come up with some anchor lube and, and a boring bar from Solid Rock uh, Machine Shop. So I guess that was all right. I, I was sitting there with my raffle tickets in my hand and I was almost dozed off. And they called the number. It just went on by me. Dale Derry says H Waters and that, that got my attention you know I, I think in a couple more minutes I'd have been totally out asleep <laughs> but uh, anyway there you are. I This video sort of uh, it's not too long uh, I've enhanced the parts that were too dark and such and I think that the museum there I'm sure they made quite a lot of money because the place was covered up with people and everybody had to pay to get in, and you know, and so I'm, I'm sure they made a pretty good profit. And I, th I think they ought to spend some of that money on some LCD lights, you know, to go <laughs> uh, LCD LED lights to go in the inside of their buildings. And that was the darkest place I've been in a long time. They've got all these little incandescent bulbs strung on a on a wire down through there, kind of like Christmas tree lights. But anyway. Not for me to criticize, not my museum. Uh, so this this is video is probably about a half hour long, and I I'll, I guess I'll think about whether to cut it in half or not so that it's easier for people to view. Chances are I will, but I won't do any introduction for the second part. And uh, I guess there's not much else to say about it other than we went there and the boss lady enjoyed it so. That's uh, all I can say about that. Let's just uh, dig into the video and see what we'll see. Uh, I don't know that there will be any video over uh, Thanksgiving because I just don't have time to do anything between now and then as far as I know. So this is it for this week and maybe there might be something next week. Okay, let's go ahead and watch the Good of the Land Fest at Landale, Texas. Now well, here we are at Lindale. This is the view out of the hotel window. I guess that that water tower is just a little bit past the old Mill Pond Museum. So we're going to take off there in a little bit. Good at night. Well, while Dale Deary was kicking that thing off, I was uh, filling out my name on lottery tickets, raffle tickets, whatever. So we missed that part. But it's okay. A lot of old hit and miss engines in here. Yeah, catch it there. 
I had one about the size of that one right there, only a little bit longer. Well, quite a bit longer. <laughs> Gave it away. Mine was a McCormick, I think it was. I'm not sure. Oh, a Fairbanks Morse, that's what the one I had was. dark in here I may have to enhance this video. Well, that old tractor makes the case for case. One of my favorite tractor colors, John Deere. This looks like an old uh, Oliver, I think it is. Doesn't say on it, but what it looks like. I think. Thomas Chalmers. Well, that's old. <laughs> Another old Tommy Thomas Chalmers. And people are still coming in. All up and down there. walk around and see what else there is to see. It says there's a Tell Smith jaw crusher. If you look inside you can see the jaws move together to crush something. I don't know what they would crush with it, but looks like it'd do the job. Hmm. I guess blacksmithing is kind of the flavor of the, the museum, so there's a couple of guys doing blacksmith work. Or at least they've got the tools for it. Did you get you a pair of commander over there? I don't know what they're making. Did you guys buy you a pair of commander? Oh, yeah. But they're making something. He's got a lot of stuff. You ought to go visit his place in Dallas sometime. He's driving this thing in the, what they call the hardy hole. I guess square it up. I don't know. I'm not sure why you'd drive something in there, but there you go. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to come back out. It went in hard, so it really come out easy. Got her back. Okay, let's go watch somebody else for a while. All right, more old equipment. There's your garden cultivator. And there's your old engine. A pump, that's what that is. Power pump. And I don't know what that guy does. Oh, he makes his ice cream with his McCormick dairy. Or maybe he's shaving ice. I don't know. It's 50 something degrees. I don't want any ice. Now that is getting into the size of the uh, engine that I had. It had a, about a six inch bore. And it looks like this one's got a six inch bore. Maybe bigger. Sometimes you do things you wish you didn't. Wish I had to give away my engine. <laughs> but I wanted to park in the garage. There's the official meal wheel, but I think uh, it's not being run by water. I suspect, and I don't know. It could be, but I doubt it. I think it's being run by a motor from the inside. It's really dark. Everything in this place is really dark, so hopefully the video still look good when I lighten it up. Shoe shop place. I used to have one of those shoe baths like that. I don't know why. 
something my dad had left over laying around in the garage. I don't know why a farmer would have a shoe last, but he did. Uh, centrifuge, that's what that is right there. There's a cream separator. We had a fancier cream separator on the farm. But we had a cream separator. A 1923 Model T Ford. Now that'd be something, wouldn't it? Got a lubrication chart, boy. You got to lubricate that thing all over. Wow, I put a, a great job on that with a, a real affair. Okay. So, move on. There's a portable sawmill. Got a nice little hit and miss engine on it. Look at that washing machine. There's an old washing machine over there. Looks like a lot of fun. Obviously, you had to slosh it back and forth with that handle. And then you got to run the ringer by hand. Of course, it would have been better than uh, than a rub board, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> I'd never operate things the hell would I know, huh? Here's the home entertainment section. All kind of little music instruments. And phonographs and such. Phonograph way over there. mandolins and guitars and banjos and you name it there's some of it there now here you go this would be this would be a, an expensive instrument I'm sure a nice big piano please do not touch the piano don't worry I won't I'm not musical this looks like a hay baler or something it says threshing machine. I don't know what they're threshing with. It. Grain. Yeah, grains from the stalks. Okay. There's a really old farm all. My dad had a farm all in Oklahoma, but it was a considerable bit newer than this one. Hey, ours is at least a 50 something model. And here we got a line shaft. I cut out all those fast movements that, that I did with the camera, if I remember. That looks like a coffee grinder. And there's a wheel running the line shaft, which is running a little grinder. And that's a, a grist mill for corn. How about that? I'll go around the other side of the beam here for a better look at it. Put the corn in the hopper and crank away at it, huh? It's bound to have been run with some sort of an engine. And here we got. Uh, Clipper. It says, the amazingly well preserved eviction was once used for hand sorting beans and peas. Okay, sounds good. That's a corn shovel. It'll be interesting to see what's inside that thing. We're not going to see though, are we? Too dark in there to see. You know, you'd think they'd have something like that open so you can see how it works. And there's, I guess, another corn shell or something. Here's a wheat, a, a mill for, for milling wheat into flour. 
big flat drive pulleys on it. The old belt drive. Pretty big, at least for an old timey machine, huh? No idea what that is, but it's one of them. Here's some ringers. Okay, could be for ringing out your washing. I don't know. Well, that's all, folks. Uh, Y'all try to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave a comment if you got something to say. And above all, remember, keep on keeping on. Bye now.